Yeah. Hi, this is Miss Malini, and you're joining us again for another live fabulous Google Hangout from Lakme Fashion Week, Summer Resort 2015. And I'm sitting with the absolutely fantastic Raghavendra Rathore. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You know, I've always noticed whenever you walk across a room or into a room, you're doing a show, you're always so calm and serene. And most people at Fashion Week are losing their minds and super hectic. What's your secret? Just, just a fantastic design team. <laughs> really? That makes a really big difference, I can imagine. So we're here today joined with my fashion team, who's also going to be asking you questions. And uh, we're going to be chatting with them. So let's go over to say a big hello to Anushka. Hi, Anushka. Hi. How are you? Hi. <laughs> All right. I think I'm getting a little echo of the whole hangout in my headpiece for some reason. I think, is it playing on yours? Is it playing on someone's laptop? Not here, no. All right. I can hear myself as well. Tech support, tech support. We can hear ourselves <laughs> in the headphones. <laughs> All right, I think that's much better. Ah, much better. OK, cool. So let's just recap again. So I've got my design team, my fashion team, who's joining us today. And Anushka is actually in the blogger's apartment upstairs, which is really cool, uh, where they have a spot where all the bloggers can hang out. And they actually give us lots of champagne. <laughs> so that we can calmly blog, which is a good spot. They should, yeah, that's where the party is. Um, and they're going to be doing some uh, live action for us as well, like Devanshi, who actually is giving us a big grin right now. Devanshi is going to do some live sculpting for us, because this season at LACME, it's all about sculpting. And Shifa, who's going to be asking some questions as well. Um, so let's see if we can hear you. Hi, Anushka, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. <laughs> all right, Anushka, what is your question? I wanted to know, um, Raghavendra, can you tell me what the first thing you do before is before and after your show? Like, how do you like? Uh, we're getting, we're getting the same problem again. We can hear the same echo in my headphones, so I can't hear her. Um, so we're hoping that we'll be able to hear. Okay, so I think Anushka, why don't you put on your headphones? Until then, I'll get some Twitter questions on. Yep. All right, so let me go with this first. Okay, so if you had to create a flash guide to dressing like royalty, this is a Twitter question that's come in. What would your first three steps be? Um, shoes of gold. Shoes and, of gold. Uh, I love if that. They have them or not? We can make some. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think it'll be probably uh, understanding where they are from, uh, and where they're going, or where the party is. You, you said flash. Yeah. So, like, how would you? Uh, so, how would you uh, give a flash guide to dressing uh, uh, like royalty? You said Flash Gordon. Yeah, Flash Gordon. That would be that would be an amazing one too. That should go in your next collection. Well, I think it's 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 really about uh, dressing down. I think that's real uh, real style. I think I believe that simplicity really reeks of style. Uh, everybody can put on the you know the bling, uh, but I think. The challenge would be to really ask and understand uh, how do you really simplify style. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this evening's collection? Everyone is very excited to see. Well, we, we are actually uh, putting this uh, entire effort to bring in the focus onto the weavers. Um, but I've always traditionally had a problem with uh, designers and uh, colleagues who actually create collections completely in khadi or completely in handloom fabrics because it just loses the luster somewhere. Right. So what we have done is we've broken the collection into two halves, and we're showing uh, a ready-to-wear collection called Imperial India. Um, it has uh, buoyancy, it has more youthfulness, but it also has, uh, we managed to slip in a shirt in Khadi, or, um, so it's, it's scattered handloom, and we have a tuxedo right next to a Khadi bun, you know, so it, I guess to make it cool. While the, uh, the Raghavind Rato label, which is actually towards the end of the uh, collection, will completely be, uh, you know, derivative of this Pili Koti area in, in Banaras. Uh, yeah. The whole uh, collections come from there. So so we are really uh, trying to show the two extremes and show the brand vision, uh, segregating them with a foundation collection that, so we have a fashion foundation which basically uh, where the designers tap into and get their designs from. And this foundation works with lots of weavers and underprivileged people so it's it's a it's a brand vision really yeah. um, it's not so much about my vision it's not so much about who what my new collection is it's about really how 
chic it can really be wearing uh, handloom fabrics. And actually it is textile day. There's always one de you know, dedicated day at Fashion Week. So for all the people who don't know what that's about, can you just tell us a little bit about why we have textile day at Fashion Week? Well, I think it's essential. Um, the heartline of India is, you know, is, is, is the textile industry. And I think uh, they brought this in, uh, I think, two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's really to recognize the value uh, that is really passed on to all of us uh, from the grassroots of India. So I think it's a fantastic idea, and I fully support it. That's awesome. Okay, let's see if we can get Devanshi to show us a look that she's creating. Uh, let's see if we can hear you. So, Devanshi, tell us about the look that you're going to create for us today. I think inspired by Raghavendra Rathor. Hi. So, um, I actually, the Lakme station is so busy right now. Everyone wants to get sculpted. So, I just got a look done We're using the um, Lakme Absolute Precision Liner, where it's all about like the really bold eyeliner. And the strong lips, and then everything else is kind of, you know, dull and like muted, not too much. So I'm, I'm loving that look. I actually never have done this before, but it, it looks very like, you know, runway ready to me. I don't know what does runway <laughs> have to say. Yeah, it's lovely. I think we, we always go for strong colors for because we do very tailored looks, and it tends to make, uh, you know, people look a little stately. So. To balance the dark colors, the menswear tailoring, you always need to put some color. I mean, whether it's a shade of 44, or whether it's highlighting a little accent around the eyes. Um, uh, smudging the eyes always works very well. It gives you sort of a, a draw, you know, I mean, it, it, I shouldn't use those words because it, it, we're, <laughs> we're, we're completely menswear designers, but um, women can look very sexy in strong colors also, but the clothes need to be very tailored for that. So we have a lot of young men and young male bloggers who are always logging on and asking us for advice. And I think that a lot of men are afraid to experiment with their style because they don't know where to begin. So what would your advice be to, you know, the average guy who hasn't really thought too much about his wardrobe? What, where can he start to start making a difference? I think really to intuitively build a profile and that builds you confidence. I mean, mm. your clothes, it could be from various different brands. It doesn't need to be from one particular brand always. Uh, and, and it's all about mix and matching, but always focus on the accessories. You know, the shoes, the belts, the watch, it needs to speak about their right. personality, their soul. It's yeah. not about, you know, reading up on it and buying it yeah. offline or whatever it is. I think, I think be true to yourself in terms of your likes and dislike, and you will see that a, your personality will change and your character will be built. Uh, it's that simple. Do you have a favorite accessory that you've sort of taken a shine to on your own? Well, I, unfortunately, it's one of these gizmo phones. You know, it's, <laughs> it, it does everything for you. Yeah, it's like it having your assistant in your pocket. Do you have a fancy cover on your phone? <laughs> no, I have the one that is, it just protects it very well because I keep on dropping it. But, um, <laughs> Do you ever throw it across the workshop in no, anger? I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> a Libran. I'm very, I'm very fluid, and, and um, I leave that for my head designers to do. Right. But Librans, I heard, are very, you know, they, they have trouble making up their minds. So does that ever happen to you when making your collection? Well, you need a good team. You need a good team, <laughs> collective decision. Um, Rome was built on a yeah. Libran philosophy. Yeah. It takes a lot of people, lot of people to, 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 to build a collection in our office because yeah. I always listen to other people. And I always listen and let them participate. Yeah. And uh, you can see that in the work also because eventually it all falls in place beautifully from a very large perspective rather than Mimi and the I.I. business yeah. that happens a lot in fashion. So Yeah. That's interesting. I'd love to know a piece of advice that you followed from someone in your team that you found was quite unexpected. Well, most of the errors translate into the best solutions, I've realized. And I think yeah. uh, there's always lots, lots and lots of errors uh, in decisions that we take. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, you'll see it. You'll see it <laughs> everywhere in the collection. Um, so we're, we're, we're constantly challenged, um, sure. and the younger the mind in the company, the better the idea is. Yeah. So we have all youngsters working with us, and it's fascinating for me to see from the perch that all the, all the oldies sit. Yeah. Um, and I started Fashion Week, you know, we were the first three designers, Tarun, wow. Wendell, and me started Lakme Fashion Week some 15 years ago. And, That's amazing. Uh, we were very nervous that yeah. night, not knowing where and how it will be it's received. Happen. And so, just look at it now. Yeah, it's, um, all those errors we took. Yeah, and led to something. And really uh, paved the way for a lot of young designers. So I think we can hear Anushka now. So Anushka, we're gonna give you a chance to ask your question. Anushka is a senior fashion blogger at Miss Malini. Go ahead, Anushka. Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> Sorry okay. about that. 
<laughs> so I just wanted to know, everyone fusses and makes a big deal about what celebrity Raghavin, what, um, what like Raghavin Rathor outfit a celebrity is wearing, but I want to know what you wear on an off day. What is a Raghavin Rathor off day look? <laughs> Well, you know, I live mostly in a jungle outside Jodhpur, um, and um, it's always nice to be well dressed there because uh, anything can happen. It's a real jungle, um, so I find myself wearing uh, a boarding school wardrobe. I call it the boarding school wardrobe. It's mostly denims and uh, shirts that don't get caught in thorns, and so no chiffons and none of that stuff. So I think um, very classic, very simple, uh, something that gives me comfort really. Um, but I would never recommend that to my uh, celeb stars. Uh, they they are in a different business. They're in image building business, and they can never take themselves lightly. Always be ready for a camera or something, and uh, and simplify the style. I mean, I think have a wardrobe that really works with you rather than you, makes you work around it. So. I don't know if that answers your question. I think it does. All right, remember you're watching this live, so you can send in your questions with the hashtag uh, Lakme Fashion Week, of course. And there's one that's come in which says, if you had to pick three stars who you think have a stately aura, who would you say they would be? Well, I, you know, Saif Ali Khan has really helped me build the brand. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I dressed him some 10 years ago in a movie and uh, put that Bangala suit on him, and he said, um, you know, you really make me more. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. and and he's been very supportive, and I think um, Mr. Anil Kapoor and uh, lots of Hollywood stars also, which uh, we're finding that uh, the Bangala is now synonymous with India, and I yeah. think people are really reaching out. So, um, lots of names. I'm not sure if I should divulge all that. That's the <laughs> business that I'm in to keep quiet about things. That makes sense. The bespoke business is a very hush-hush <laughs> business, uh, but. Um, I think it's a great learning from them and great support. Uh, great yeah. support from them. All right, let's go over to Shifa, who's also part of Team Miss Malini and has a question for you. So, Shifa, what's your question? So, Raghuvendra, I want to know that looking at your designs and your regal cards, I've always understood that you have always desired to dress the ultimate diva. But I'd like to know what your ideal garment would be like. Or have you already designed your ideal garment? Have you already designed your well, ideal garment? I'm on the verge of retirement. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be designing any more uh, things that were designed 20 years ago. Have actually, become relics, and um, and the, the the brand exists in a space where you really don't have to reinvent the wheel. Uh, you have to take something from the heritage and retweak it every year. So it's really kind of boring the answer, but that's the fact that you know we we just fix the bangala every year with little variations. If it's not broken, I don't think we should be fixing it. And I really strongly believe in that. So. Uh, my ideal uh, garment would be to to take the bangala very global and be able to really uh, Taj Mahal and the the sari and the bangala should be spoken in the same uh, word as India. And I think it's 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 not so far. And I think designers, the young designers, are doing fabulous things with the breeches and the heritage clothing. I think that's very important, and especially menswear because it just gets neglected every time. So. Um, that answers the question. I yeah, hope. so you know, we're actually talking to a lot of young designers this Fashion Week as well. And I'd love to ask them a question that you have for them. Is there something you want to ask young designers? And I'll make sure I ask them. Well, I just want to understand um, uh, is the community prepared for the transition from brick and mortar to the cyber yeah. retail? Why can't the Fashion Week be on the cyber space uh, next year? I mean, sure. why can't it? They probably make lots of profits as well because yeah. there's so many people from you know so, cost of the infrastructure it will just disappear. I think they did that. They I think they did Masaba's show on Instagram as a oh, really? to try it out as a starter. Wow. Yeah, so they did her show on Instagram. I'd be curious to see how people respond. Yeah. The idea is that what's the bottom line? How yeah. much wealth is being made out of this? And sure. I think that's the, the the tricky question for the last 20, well, 15 years. Um, that doesn't ever get a good answer, but yeah. <laughs> so I think the focus should be really to yeah. change with the times. Yeah. So we've been asking everyone how they survive Fashion Week because so many things happen through the day, uh, and you you know you have so many things to deal with. Whether you're backstage and the show always has to look flawless. So what is your survival technique at Fashion Week? Well, go with the flow, I suppose, and uh, pop that sugar pill every once <laughs> in a while, whatever one sugar is. Um, and there is a little secret trade secret that I can't share with you. So. Oh, really? Okay. Well, we have cupcakes in the blogger's apartment. Devanshi, do you have a question for Raghavendra? I do. And, of course, it's beauty-related. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. 
yeah, okay. It's beauty related, so I just wanted to ask, you know, a lot of times, like, everyone's all about fashion and this and that on the runway, but we forget to, like, talk about the importance of how beauty goes hand in hand with, you know, making the whole look come together. So I just wanted to know what you have to say about that and when, you know, when you're showcasing something, are you very into, like, giving your input on the beauty look, so are you, like, whatever goes? That's a very good question. I think uh, beauty has got neglected like accessories did earlier and now people realize that that's where the big money really is and um, the focus is back. I just think you need professional uh, people who can really sell the idea to the designers first and then you know through their collections. Uh, a designer you know it's a bit like uh, you know uh, you need a textile designer to create a great textile for the designer to use. The same thing applies for beauty and for accessories. You need a, a mediator of sorts and I think there's plenty of people that are coming out of the industry yeah. and you will see a big change. Um, otherwise it's always sponsored jewelry. And, yeah. you know, it's just an easy way out but right. I think it's a very very important um, point in time to in, be more inclusive um, as a gamut of uh, lifestyle things and I think it, beauty deserves its, its beautiful place in fashion, really does. I think that's kind of cool. That's why uh, when Lakme Fashion Week does it, they also put a real spotlight in beauty, and they always create something new each week, uh, each fashion week. So this time, sculpting is the real uh, name of the game, and everyone's learning how to do that. All right, I'm going to ask you to do something fun for us live in this hangout. Uh, if you could create a little sketch and what you would dress my Miss Malini avatar in, and you can give me the microphone. And Marvin, my fabulous head stylist and lovely assistant for today, we'll hold it up here so everyone can see you do this live. Um, like an exam, uh, and hopefully, and and, I, and if you'd like, you can tell us a little bit about what the thought process is of what you're making. How many seconds do I have? As long as you like. So tell us, tell us a little bit about what you're thinking for. I'm now imagining that she's visiting uh, me. Um, I don't think you ever do come to Rajasthan, but if you do, you are there, and we are going to show you uh, the the most primal jungle in Rajasthan, and you are going to have to stay at a old castle which is um, possibly um, right next to the Ranthambore uh, jungle you'll need something to be careful and uh, I'm really doing this as you said so um, so your bangala is almost ready now that's right I do I would I'm actually gonna make a trip to Rajasthan you should I think it's it's a it's a beautiful part uh, of the country which has some amazing uh, relic uh, places that one can visit. So my brain's doing two things at the same time. Huh? So talk See, men can multitask after all. Remember in case you're watching this live, Hangout Live and you joined in just a little bit too late, don't worry, the beautiful thing about Google Hangouts is you can watch them again and again and again. They're all on my YouTube channel on Miss Miney videos and we're hanging out all week long at Lakme Fashion Week. Use the hashtag Lakme Fashion Week to send in your questions as well. And of course, MM Fridays for all my Hangouts. How are we doing? Wow. What is she wearing below? So you have a 1930s styled breeches, um, which uh, has a lovely patch here, uh, a seam joint. I'm just going to get to the, the lifestyle bit in a second. Um, so we have uh, kind of a low neck there, uh, mosquito has it, but that's OK. <laughs> now comes the interesting part. So that's <laughs> that's awesome. So that's the jungle at the back, <laughs> and that's the Haveli on top. Wow! It's like out of a movie now. And then we have a. So you're on, on the edge of a river. That's the hill you'll have to climb up to go to the palace on top. I can get into the details while it's I like the details. Incredible. This is going on my wall, framed in my office. I could have added a panther in there, but... <laughs> Please sign this for me. That's fantastic. So what would you call her look? Um... <clears throat> An inspiration for your visit to Rajasthan. I think uh, the trick would be to really enhance the uh, 
the the two dimensional to real three dimensional you must come i really really insist you i should. will absolutely i will definitely look you up and yes please go that's amazing and remember to log on to catch all of our hangouts again thank you so much for joining us thank you thank you very much so sweet of you to do such a, a pleasure back. to meet you it's lovely to meet you too we are so looking forward to your show one parting uh, message to everyone and something that they should know about your show because of course you know you can also watch all of the shows live at Like Me Fashion Week online, like you were saying, virtually, uh, all because it's being streamed live courtesy Google. So all you have to do is log on to the Like Me Fashion Week channel, and you can watch every show live. So those who are at home uh, can watch the show that's, there. That's, that's, so a message to them? Keep your eye on the Kadi. Keep your eye on the Kadi on Textile Day, absolutely. And remember, you can find the links uh, on Twitter to watch the show live, and I'll be tweeting them too, so make sure you join us. Thank you so much. All right, bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Blog Arenas. Ciao.